In this video, we'll learn how to use the binomial expansion formula. Now, the binomial expansion formula tells us that a plus b raised to some power n, where n is a positive whole number, is equal to the sum from p equals to 0 up to p is equal to n of the binomial coefficient n p times a to the power of n minus p times b to the power of p. So let's see how this actually works with a quick example. Let's say we had to find a plus b to the power of 3. Well, looking at these, at what we just wrote here, all I've done is I've replaced n by 3. So I can go ahead and use the binomial expansion formula and rewrite it, but simply replace n by 3. So that would lead us to the sum from p is equal to 0 up to p is equal to 3 of the binomial coefficient of 3p times a to the power of 3 minus p times b to the power of p. So let's see. To do this, we add up this term here, binomial coefficient of 3 of p, times a to the power of 3 minus p times b to the power of p, we're going to add this term to itself, and each case, and in each case rather, we're going to let p take on the different values 0, 1, 2, and we'll stop at 3. So let's go ahead and do that. The first term corresponds to p is equal to 0, so that would be 3, 0, times a to the power of 3 minus 0, times b to the power of 0. The second term would correspond to p is equal to 1, which leads us to the binomial coefficient 3, 1, times a to the power of 3 minus 1, times b to the power of 1. We then carry on, we add the third term, which would correspond to p is equal to 2. So that leads us to 3, 2, times a to the power of 3 minus 2, times b to the power of 2. And finally, the last term would correspond to the case where p is equal to 3. So that would be 3, 3, times a to the power of 3 minus 3, times b cubed. Okay, now to begin with, what we'll do here is we're going to clean up these powers a little bit. So I'll do this in the next line. So the first term was 3, 0, a to the power of 3 minus 0 is just a to the power of 3. And we're multiplying that by b to the power of 0. But b to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. So I can leave it as it is. There's no, re no need to write the times 1 there. The second term, we had the case where p is equal to 1. We have a to the power of 3 minus 1, which is just a squared times b to the power of 1, which is just b. Our next term, where p was equal to 2, so that's 3, 2. And we have a to the power of 3 minus 2, and that's just a to the power of 1, which is a, times b squared. And finally, the last term, when p is equal to 3, we have a to the power of 3 minus 3, which is a to the power of 0, which is just equal to 1 times b to the power of 3. So that's just b to the power of 3. Now you go. We're pretty much set so far. All we have to do right now is calculate all of these binomial coefficients right here. We have 4 to calculate. So let's go ahead and do those. The first one, 3, 0, is equal to factorial 3 over factorial 3 minus 0 times factorial of 0. That leads us to factorial 3 over factorial 3 times 1. Remember, factorial of 0 is equal to 1. So this leads us, hopefully you can tell right away, to 1. The second binomial coefficient, 3, 1, will be equal to factorial 3 over factorial 3 minus 1 times factorial of 1. That leads us to factorial 3 over factorial 2 times 1. 
And this leads us to 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 1. And you can see these simplify out, simplify quite nicely, leading us to 3. The third binomial coefficient we have to calculate, 3, 2, would be equal to factorial 3 over factorial 3 minus 2 times factorial of 2, leading us to factorial of 3 over factorial of 1 times factorial of 2. And hopefully you can see this is exactly the same thing as what we wrote above. And so we can say right away that this will be equal to 3. Finally, looking at the last binomial coefficient, 3, 3, this will be equal to factorial of 3 over factorial of 3 minus 3 times factorial of 3, which leads us to factorial of 3 over factorial of 0 times factorial of 3, and that leads us to factorial of 3 over 1 times factorial of 3, which you should see is equal to 1. So there we have it. If I just scroll back up for a second, we have 1, 3, 3, 1. So we can see here that we have 1, 3, 3, 1. And we're pretty much done. So I'll just write the result here at the bottom. Using all the results we just found, we can state that a plus b cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And there we have it. That's how we use the binomial expansion formula.